All right, hey guys. So our startup is called Bindo. Today, me and Jason will be presenting. Does anybody have an idea what Bindo means? Bindo, exactly. Bindo, Bindo, from like Cantonese where, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, our mission at Bindo is to strengthen local local economies by bringing an unprecedented level of convenience to local shopping, helping to keep your money in the neighborhood. So Bindo is headquartered in New York. We have an office in Hong Kong. Essentially, Bindo is a retail platform that indexes inventory in the cloud and brings local merchants online through the use of an iPad point of sale. We developed one of the first iPad-based point of sale systems in the market with an EMV MPOS solution. So basically, this is just a credit card reader dongle that plugs into the audio jack, as you can see right there. Um, now, just to be very clear, Bindo, we don't do hardware. We're a software-only company. We extend traditional brick-and-mortar businesses to e-commerce and m-commerce, and we connect local shoppers with their favorite neighborhood stores online allowing consumers to purchase direct from any store equipped with a window point of sales. We aim to converge the online and the offline. So, window phase one is the iPad point of sale. Phase two is the Bindo Marketplace. Now, this is a smartphone app that allows consumers to purchase directly from their favorite local store through our app. Because we're cloud-based, any merchant using Bindo point of sale will be able to launch their entire store on the web and mobile one click. Lastly, phase three is this giant big data opportunity. We create a real-time product graph connecting brands, consumers, and merchants. So I'll let you guys digest this slide a little bit. So Bindo is a network effect. The more stores in a particular locality or vertical that use Bindo, point of, uh, Bindo POS, the harder it is for merchants to say no to Bindo. Now why is this? Because merchants see that consumers are either buying from all the other stores around them, or maybe all the other pet stores, you know, all the other stores in that vertical using Bindo point of sales, they don't want to lose out on a potential huge revenue stream. Basically, they'll be peer pressured into joining um, our, into using our Bindo point of sales. So now I'm going to show you guys a little product demo. So our first thing, inventory management system. Now, the traditional way of entering inventory is really cumbersome and annoying. I have to use two hands here. So. Yeah, but I need like oh, two yeah. hands. <laughs> they have enough hands. Anyway, um, traditional way of entering inventory is pretty slow. You scan the barcode, you manually type in that title, you manually type in that description, and it takes literally weeks to set up an inventory, especially of like 10,000 products. We've been to point of sale, scan the barcode, and because you can, um, it's not connected. Oh, is it not connected? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> uh -oh. Hold on, just scan it. All right. All right, for some reason, we haven't connected this. <laughs> uh, Sorry, not a, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> so basically, you scan, you scan the thing, or you scan the barcode, it shows up right here. Um, <laughs> you pay, you swipe the credit card right here. Yeah. And... Well, we, pre we process the credit card transaction. Um, so what's unique about Bindo POS is our integrated CRM right here. Um, with legacy point of sale systems, there's no way to engage a consumer after the sale, right? You go, we walk into the store, um, most likely the merchant will, um, will let the consumer pay for the goods and you'll never see um, the consumer again. But with Bindo point of sale, we actually capture and organize customer data through credit card processing and email receipts. And we allow the merchant to send out targeted marketing and promotional offers to consumers. Um, so right here you can see, so this is the transaction we just processed. We're able to see all this and we're able to capture the customer. You see right there, we're able to see the customer, we're able to see the customer name over there um, and what he's purchased. And lastly, we have Bindo Marketplace, which I described earlier. Anyway, you can scan it now. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so this has been the marketplace. It's pretty straightforward. Consumers search for stores in the area. Um, they can purchase directly from the store. Any purchase done offline, i.e. in the store, will be viewable on the app. So if any of you guys have ever experienced the annoying thing of going into the grocery store and spending 45 minutes finding a grocery, when you go back home, open up the marketplace app, you'll be able to see all the items right there on the store. Um, so these are more pictures. And lastly, um, our attraction. So we ex we exited private beta two weeks ago. We have over 200 plus merchants in 18 verticals. We have 180,000 unique customers in Manhattan alone, which considering Manhattan is a population of 1.6 million, that's over 10% of the population have checked out using Bindo Point of Sales. We process over $35 million in sales, and unlike Square and a lot of the other iPad Point of Sales systems, we're, we're built for scale from day one. 
Um, we just signed up the Wine and Liquor Store in Texas. All right, here we go.